Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry about the lack of AR video in the past few days. There are several reasons why that is the case, but before we get into ether raids, let's just quickly do this free summon. So I think I'm gonna go green because it could be nice to get some distant counter fodder. Oh boy. Um, I guess Lynn? Or should I go? I'm gonna go colorless in case I pick up some... Who am I even going for? I don't really know. <laughs> Okay, it's a three star anyway, so it doesn't matter. This banner is like, honestly, the old seasonal banners are just not great. So it'll be cool to start seeing them get refines. All right, a lot of things to talk about. I'm in tier 23. Um, I dropped out of the vault by eight points last week for the first time since the vault was introduced. And... I was really sad about that because what that means is like if I had one extra offense merge I would have made it in, um, if I lost slightly less lift on defense I would have made it in. Last week was just everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. On defense my team went 8-3 eight and three, so 8 wins and 3 losses but all 3 of the losses counted and 2 of them were minus 74 and 1 of them was minus 54 so basically I lost 200 lift on defense basically worst case scenario and I got extremely unlucky with the way matches were ordered. Seriously, I literally only had three losses and they all counted. So there's that. Um, offense was... It was just so unlucky. So I ran into two difficult cav lines. On top of that, I also ran into two return traps with Duo Leaf and Winter Bernie. And one of them had a Lancebreaker Winter Bernie, so Hector couldn't have even done it. And the other one had a Rally Trap with a highly merged Life and Death 4 plus Attack Ophelia with her special ready, and no way to avoid a turn 1 engagement. So Hector also wouldn't have been able to take the hit from her. So I just ran into some ridiculously difficult luck on offense, and um, I... And, and the thing is, so I took a death against both of those return traps. One of them I took a ladder, because I was like, oh, I can't take I can't take another death here. And in that one, one of my units died by one HP, and that was my only death. So there's that. Um, and against the second one, I only had two ladders left. And I decided to take one death, um, because, again, the death was really close, like, if it was out of Saros bonus week, basically, like, it would have been okay. Um, but anyway, so I I only had two ladders left at that point. If I took a ladder there, I would have only had one ladder left to play three double matches for the rest of the week. So I thought I did the math, and I would have been able to stay in tier 38 anyway, even with taking a death on that match, as long as my defense team didn't lose more than minus 74, which is a full loss. However, I guess I miscalculated because I took that death and then my defense team took a minus 74 and then it pushed me out of the vault by eight points. So if I had actually done the math properly, I don't know how I messed that up so badly, um, I would have not taken the death there. I would have just taken a ladder and hoped that I could finish out the season with just one ladder left. But, uh, basically a combination of ridiculously bad luck on offense, running into two cav lines and two return traps with duo leaf at the same time, like in the same season, combined with some bad math, um, I guess I was playing AR pretty late and I was pretty tired, so I'm gonna blame it on that, but it's still not really excusable, it's still pretty upsetting, um, and also combined with some really bad luck on defense. So yeah, I'm sorry, I've been monologuing about this for like three minutes now, but I was very, very, very disappointed in myself and in this, the situation, the bad RNG that I had, because that was the first time I ever didn't make tier 38, and it was literally just by 8 points. One merge. But anyway, we're in tier 23 right now. Um, I'm gonna take this week as an opportunity to try out some new teams, mainly just one new team. I'm gonna try out this team, the Claude and Claude. I think this could be a really interesting combo where Claude hits, or oh, legendary Claude hits, and then I find a way to get him out of there, and then Brave Claude kind of just tanks the rest. So I don't really know how it'll do, it's just something I'm trying, but um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it'll be fun, and I think tier 
23 is a perfect place to test this out because it shouldn't be quite as high stakes as tier 38. So yeah. Oh, I also have Amilla now. Um, I kind of fully kitted her out. From what I can tell, as long as the opposing team has chill defense or like a dark shrine, she still won't be able to isolate Dancer Eldigan, but she can isolate anybody else really easily, so that's good. Um, okay, and there's also a completely new defense team. This is inspired by one of my commenters who also has a YouTube channel. Um, I think his name is like MH1967 and then like a long string of numbers or something. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember it off the top of my head, but he also does YouTube videos. Um, he does them about AR offense and AR defense and they're really informational and really well done. So um, if you like high level AR, go check out his channel. He does some great stuff. Um, and yeah, so this is a cav line completely inspired by him. So the way this works is Claude has Rally Up Attack Plus. So he'll be going down to rally either Reinhardt or Sothis, preferably Sothis, but I found that sometimes he rallies Reinhardt anyway. Um, yeah, so he goes down and rallies, then gets danced by Triandra, and then often goes and snipes someone in the front line. Um, and then yeah, there's Reinhardt, there's Veronica with odd recovery so that everybody gets odd recovered, nobody has any penalties or isolation or anything. There's Sothis for scoring. And there is Python for basically maximum survivability. So that's why he's running speed res AR and steady blow. Um, the whole point is that he can't die. Well, hopefully. The problem is I don't actually have a budding bow, so I can't actually give him that. Um, but I'm doing what I can with devilish bow as probably the second best option. At least the second best option that I actually have. I don't really have many inheritable bows. I also have fire sweep bow. But anyone with Nulsi Disrupt kind of just completely wrecks that, so yeah. Um, what else? I don't remember if there's anything else to say about this team. Oh, big, 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 big weakness of this team is anyone with a duo unit. Because I don't have Summer Mia, um, the MH person, he's running Summer Mia over here, so he can use the duo's hindrance structure as well. I don't actually have Summer Mia. I don't have a ranged Cav who's a duo or harmonic unit. I don't have a duo Leaf. Um, so yeah, I don't really have many options, so I'm just kind of not running the duo's hindrance structure right now. Um, perhaps I might switch out Sothis for duo Peony at some point, but for now, um, I'm just gonna try it out like this. The thing is, like, I'm pretty much guaranteed to make it back into the vault anyway, so yeah. Hopefully. I don't want to count my blessings too quickly, but I think I can make it back into the vault this week. Alright. So, um, let's watch the first defense replay that I've gotten with this new team. So it looks like it's starting out well. I'm sorry to Sungold that you had to be the first person to face this team. So yeah, full bottom of structures doesn't really work well against this team, kind of like a traditional cav line. Um, but yeah, so let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't even look at the units. Okay, uh, they have a plus 4 peony, plus 10 cranio with null C, Halloween Hector, um, plus five Milla with Fury, that's interesting. Um, and plus two Air. They have a lot of mythic merges. Okay, so I guess they're just gonna go in turn one and kind of go on the offensive here. So Python just takes out Kranya. Are you? Um, and then the rest, like... Uh, see, yeah, sometimes Claude goes and rallies there. I really don't understand. And I don't think I can do anything to fix that. Because the problem is not stat total. Sothis does have more stats than Reinhardt, but, um... I think it depends on, like, where they're baiting. But anyway, I still got another kill here. And then from here, like... They didn't really have a play because Hector probably can't take on all of his units. Definitely not in turn two where his odd follow-up is not active. Alright, so I'm sorry about that Sun Gold. But it's really nice to see to wake up to a win. So yeah. Alright, um, on to offense. Oh, I almost didn't have the bonus structure. Alright, let's put it in. Okay, so... Um, I'm just gonna try this new thing out. Hopefully it works. 
I'm not sure what seal to run on Claude. I've been thinking about this. I was initially running life and death, but then I realized that I that really hurts his bulk, so I don't really want to. Um, another option would be either attack speed solo or swift sparrow, but I feel like those are kind of situational to activate, so for now I'm just going with attack speed too. If you guys have any better suggestions, let me know. Okay, so there's an Eldigan who I can't isolate. There's a plus 10 Azura who I can isolate. Bramamon, Bernadetta, Lysithia, and Ophelia. Okay. Um. Hmm. Can I literally just snipe Lysithia? Maybe I'll do it with Legendary Claude and then uh, get Brave Claude in there? Because Lysithia is kind of scary. Um, I think we're gonna try that. I my First time using this new team. I was trying it against some friends defense teams yesterday, but um, that's not always a good representation of what you'll actually be facing. So, I don't see any rallies or anything, so there's definitely no force of any kind of engagement at the beginning. Let's go. Maybe this way. So next turn, Claude should be ready in position. Yes. Um, and Brave Claude should also be ready. Doesn't really matter if I go in turn two or three, I feel like. Sure. Unless I can't kill Lysithia here. I can. Do I have animations on? Okay, I do. This? So, this is the first time that we get to see this Claude in action. Ha! Oh yeah, you did the backflip. Cool. Um... Oh, I just realized I probably should have used the other Claude, shouldn't I? Um, because she has... Well, that wasn't very smart. She has Blazing Wind. Oh, but they're all boxed in anyway, aren't they? They're, they're literally completely we'll boxed in, so... I don't really have to worry about them moving, I feel like. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna- I have to be more mindful of that. This Claude doesn't have Pulse Smoke, because I just don't have it on him. If I get Pulse Smoke, he might be the one to get it, but, um... Anyway, so... Hmm. On it. I want to make sure I can get that pot, though. So maybe I take out Eldigan to get rid of that, um, get rid of that, what's the word, Blazing Wind on Ophelia? And then, um, maybe we dance Claude, put him down here so he's not baiting everyone, just some people, and then, yeah, Ophelia doesn't have a way to reach, so Grammy goes first. Also, I was testing out my uh, Legendary Claude, and he does quite well against Duo Leaf, believe it or not. Duo Leaf can't one-shot him, nor can he double him because of no follow-up, and then he kind of just wrecks them. Okay. So I feel like it's safe to do this. Yes. Or maybe I want... Can I get Legendary Claude to do this? Um, so I can repo him here. Um, no, I'll just play it safe and get, um, Brave Claw to do it. I really don't want to throw a match on day one. And now they should both just attack into him. Yeah. Another successful scheme. Cool. And then Azura. Surprised she's even hitting that one damage. Another successful scheme. 
All right, one down, seven more to go. And then I'll hopefully be back in the vault. Um, ooh, this does not feel nice. I'm not super happy about this situation, not being in the vault right now, but um, sometimes it happens. I recognize that it's not so much related to skill as much as I was just ridiculously unlucky last week and also apparently bad at math. Um, so yeah, leave some encouragement in the comments, please. I'm still not really happy. I'm not really okay with it, but um, we're gonna make it through. We're gonna make it back into the vault next week and I will see all of you again back in tier 38, just in time for the new background, I think, probably, unless the new background already came out this week. In which case, please don't tell me because I'll be sad that I don't get to see that new background right now. Um, but yeah, so I guess I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope this week can be entertaining despite me not being in the vault. All right, bye guys.